Hello everyone. So today let us continue exploring Jira REST API. Now in Jira, there is uh, an audit log and this audit log is very important, especially if you are a Jira administrator trying to control the configurations of your Jira instance. Basically, you want to keep an eye on uh, the changes or in a way you should have some control. First of all, of course, you, know, you shouldn't really have lot of Jira administrators, number one. But ev even if you have these Jira administrators, you still want uh, to not always control, but also monitor the changes. And because Jira is an important tool, companies use it to do their work. And uh, you can use Jira to define your process. You can uh, do a lot of wonderful things using Jira. And today I thought I'll, I'll talk about audit log. And uh, you can, of course, you know, retrieve it. I mean, not of course, but uh, fortunately, there is a way to retrieve it using uh, REST API. And you can, of course, then do a lot of wonderful things with that information. So in Jira, if you go to your uh, admin, and if you go to system, you will find this uh, audit log section under troubleshooting and support. And if you look here, you basically have uh, the list of uh, various uh, configuration changes, like when this change happened, who did it, category, like maybe if you did some change in the workflow or if you modified a project. And there's, there is, of course, this uh, summary of the change and what exactly changed here. So you can uh, definitely take a look at these details. Now, you can also retrieve the same information using REST API. So there is, there is uh, an endpoint called uh, REST API 3 auditing record. Now, if you go to this uh, endpoint in your Jira instance, if you basically run this, you can see this uh, list in this JSON format. And I thought, okay, let us uh, write uh, a script to retrieve the information using, of course, REST API. So what I've done here is I have uh, this simple shell script. I use uh, shell script because uh, I can uh, run this command wherever I want. Uh, basically, this script called uh, get audit records dot sh. And uh, I don't I don't really have to worry about authorization because it is uh, one of my environment variable. And uh, I'm basically using here JQ to pass the the uh, details basically. So in this particular file, I want uh, or in this JSON, I have record, which is basically holding these details. Then I want to retrieve summary, author key, date when this happened, category, and maybe this uh, object item, like what exactly, uh, like the, the actual change, uh, like where exactly uh, the change happened. And of course, you can also also return associated items. So if you look here. Uh, and if I run this, I can uh, see here, I've already run this by the way, so I'll just, you know, do it one more time. So if I run this, get audit records.sh, I can basically get this list, which is uh, showing me the same information. And, and of course, when you have this in CSV, I, I'm trying to generate a CSV so, so that I can dump it somewhere. The thing that I may want to include here is uh, the associated items. So maybe I want to add something like, uh, I will add here comma and then it, it can be a bit tricky to figure out the uh, way you would parse your JSON using JQ. It is, I mean, once you know how to do it, you will know how to do it, but uh, it is not straightforward. It might not be easy in the beginning, but of course, you know, you can find this, these uh, scripts on my on my website, or not my website, by my GitHub repository. So let us run this again. And I think I need to go to that particular directory where I have my scripts. Not a problem, I'll do that very quickly. Get audit records. And I think I did something wrong here. So it says, uh, uh, then it should be name, yeah, it is name. So what exactly is wrong here? And, 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 and yeah, this is, this is actually a problem with, uh, with, uh, with, you, with basically, you know, JQ command, you have to basically make sure that everything, 
I mean, you have to basically use the exact uh, uh, exact item here. Oh, so basically, associated items is uh, again uh, you you need to basically it it it, is, it can be I believe uh, an array in itself. So I might need to like parse it separately. But anyways, I'll just remove remove it for the time being, and uh, I'll I'll fix it and I'll upload it, upload it on the I'll I'll commit this code on the GitHub repository. So you can take a look at it. So let us run this one more time. Yep, it works. All right, that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. And by the way, while you're watching this video, today we actually launched uh, our trainings. Yes, I was actually working on this for the past two years and this portal, training.sparksys.com, it took us uh, some time to work on this and we have like a lot of courses upcoming courses and we also have like webinars one-to-one -one training sessions uh, you can also book some time with me if you want and if you go to our very first course jira fundamentals you can purchase it and uh, we do have plans we in fact we are working on these upcoming courses where uh, we will be covering uh, not just Jira Fundamentals, Jira Fundamentals. I, I, we actually wanted to start somewhere and, and we thought, okay, let's start with Jira Fundamentals. But we have these courses, uh, upcoming courses. So do sign up and uh, let me know if you have any questions. All right, that is it for this video. Bye-bye.